Happy Monday to all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to an episode of the Tactical Everyday Dad. Today we have the O-Knife Beagle. Let's check it out. Before we start, full disclosure, it is like 7 degrees in my garage right now and I'm trying to film this and my hands are already numb. And so are my feet, even though I'm wearing boots. <laughs> Move to Michigan, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Mm. Yeah, I'm from Florida. So this is real cold, but I've been here for a few years now, so it's not too bad. All right, so let's dive right into it. This is the O-Knife Beagle. Oh, wrong side. As you see, it's DKN4297. Comes in their usual knife box. This is actually my first experience with O knives, so this will be different. Let me see if I need a knife for that or not. Yeah, let's just do it because I can't even feel my finger when I did that. My trusty Ultra Tech. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. I can't feel my hands. Ay, ay, ay. All right. And things I do for you guys. Whew. Alrighty. It's a nice kind of drawer sleeve like opening. I sorry, I can't feel my hands. There we go. Oh, this is very cool. So this pops off like so. Each old knife is finely tuned by hand and expertly engineered for the best possible performance. Stay sharp with your new O knife, the O knife team. That's cool. <clears throat> nice little pouch. Let's see what this is. This reminds me of like freaking iPhones. I might have to get it out, but I see it's a cleaning cloth with your use and carry manual and warrant information. See, so yeah, it comes in a pouch, just like kind of what Kaiser gives you. That Velcro is way stronger. Oh, what's these kind of challenge coins? I did not know that. That is freaking sweet. Look at that. I'm not gonna take it out yet. Beagle, oh, and I have folding pocket knives. That is really cool. I did not know that came in there. That's a nice addition. Comes in your plastic bag. So this is going to be interesting because my hands are numb. Manual. Cage ball bangs. Overall length, 7.6 inches. Blade length, 3.3. This is 154 CM stainless steel. The Beagle, of course, and a black finish harpoon style drop point <clears throat> the handle length is 4.3 inches this is g10 stainless steel liners liner lock ambidextrous right or left carry tip up only deep pocket carry and there there is actually a deep one so that's sweet has blue kind of anodized um, screws and thumb stud here very cool I'm still kind of wild that it comes with a challenge coin. That's pretty cool. Overall weight, 3.4 four ounces. Let's give you some everyday size comparisons. You everyday Sharpie. You everyday Big Pen. Toy car. <clears throat> Ontario Rat 2. Ontario Rat 1. Spyderco pair of three and the Spyderco PM2. Benchmade mini bug out and the Benchmade full size bug out. All right, let's check it out in the pocket. You got your everyday jeans. Wear a size large glove. Plenty of room in the pocket. You got your everyday golf shorts. You got your everyday athletic or basketball shorts. All right, let's put this in everyday parent tasks. Here, one layer Amazon box. Well, well, well. Let me see 
see if that titanium coating held up. Wow, I like that. So sometimes these uh, made overseas knives, the coatings kind of suck. Um, that's actually pretty good. So let's see how it does with the uh, double layer cardboard. Besides the residue from the stickers, that coating held up pretty well. That's awesome. Let's keep going. 550 paracord. Very, very good. <clears throat> Different size zip ties. I think I might have put this blue in a little too tight. Let's see. Nope. Wow. That uh, old light kind of knows how to make some knives here. <clears throat> Everyday water and milk jug. Easy peasy once again. This water is frozen. <coughs> That's how cold it is in here. All right, your genuine leather belt. Let's check it out. Ooh la la. Easy, easy, let me squeeze it. All right, let's put it through the seatbelt test. An MSRP of $75.95 from either Amazon or Old Light directly, I haven't seen it anywhere else for us, is the Old Knife Beagle, worth your time and cash. This guy surprised the crap out of me. You know, it's a knife company designed this, and I'm not too sure they're OEM. I, it could be QSP, or it could be um, Best Tech. I'm, I'm not too sure. I should have looked that up beforehand, but it's all right. I'm just your everyday dad, you know. <laughs> Action is superb for an <clears throat> manual. Like, watch. Barely did that. I thought it was assisted at first. I was like, no, that's not assist. That's a manual. Deep carry. I like that it's actual deep carry. Do you see that thing? Deep, deep carry. Look how my camera is. I can't, look how I draw my hands. <laughs> Sorry. The coating is awesome. As you see, besides the gunk from the um, tape and, and glue, there's no other markings. I'm going to clean this off and it'll probably look like brand new. 154 cm i am very happy they chose that just because everybody's doing d2 and for a overseas made knife i am happy that they chose to do 154 cm and at that price point 154 cm is pretty dang good because this is gray titanium coated it looks black but it's actually gray the g10 is very gri grippy but not overly grippy at the same time my hands are numb so i can't really tell you 100 percent uh i do feel the clip in my hand but I don't really care about that. I have so many knives that I love carrying and the clip will dig into your hand. This digs into it, but it digs right here into the fat of my palm. Right there. Eh, not bad at all. So yeah, I will actually put throw this into my EC setup and kind of check it out even more. But like always, guys, take my videos as dad advice. Listen to it, however, use it to form your own conclusions on if you want to include the knife into your EC setup or not. The choice is yours. Thank you again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.